Hello guys, hope you're all okay. So, I'm in my room in Blackpool. Hello. What we're going to do is we're just going to cover this up just a little bit. It's kind of like I'm going undercover, but not quite. Yeah, that will do. Anyways, I've been looking for one of the cheapest places to go for a pint. I think someone's coming to the, from the reception. Okay, I don't want to get in trouble. So if, if, yeah. Okay, miss. If they don't come in the next minute, I'll quickly run up and go and get them for you if you want. Okay. No problem. Have you got their phone number? If you've got the phone number, then they're normally in room number nine and they've got the reception there as well. Okay, have a good night. Okay guys, so we're going to go for a walk around Blackpool and I've not been to a certain pub for quite a while it's been known to be one of the most cheapest and I don't mean cheap in bad quality, I mean cheap as in affordable affordable pints in uh, Blackpool and it happens to be the Ardwick so what we're going to do, we're going to go for a little walk Let's go and check out the Ardwick. Is it still as good as it was last time? We're about to find out. Right, sat nav, direct me. 22 minutes walk for a pint? Really? Oh, oh well, things I do for you guys. Well, if I'm walking up the front, that's not bad. I might actually stop for a bit of fish and chips actually. I think that would be a nice little idea. So if I just go straight up here. Oh, wow, that looks far. So yeah, it's just really straight up really. Uh, and I'm walking at a relatively fast pace so should be there pretty soon. I've been told they do a great pint of Fosters. So we'll find out how much that costs because Weatherspoons I mean, for something like a carling or cause, it actually said uh, like four pounds, seven pence, or something like that. So that's quite crazy. So um, yeah, we'll have a little walk. I'll put my other phone in my pocket. We'll go for a walk and uh, let's show you guys a bit of Blackpool. So for those of you who don't know, my name is Prash Super. Lovely to meet you all. Well, kind of. Normally just make the video for you. Good evening. You can see the tower right at the end. So yeah guys, uh, my name is Prash Super. Like I said, uh, lovely to uh, have you join me on this little walk. If, you're, if, you, if you have any familiar areas that you know of, or if there's a few favourite pubs or something like that that you have, comment below. I'd love to check them out. It's a cold, windy evening here in South Promenade. But I must say, it's very enjoyable because you've got that beautiful sea breeze. Here we've got the South Beach Kings Hotel. I've been told this place is amazing. Now, they actually have, um, they have um, a little bar area as well. So what I'm going to do, just very quickly, I'm going to show you the bar. So the bar is on this side of the hotel, 
uh, towards the end over here. Absolutely amazing. So the bar goes all the way across, as you can see. I want to see if I can just show you guys where it is. So let's just have a quick look. Dear customer, second right, okay. Um, reception just looks a bit worried to see me. I wasn't sure if it was a pull or a push. How are you? Are you okay? Oh, it's either way around. My apologies. Sorry. That's confused. Yeah, I thought. I hope I've not broken that. That should be okay, shouldn't it? Hold on. God, that is so confusing. Oh, bless you. I actually um, came to Blackpool at some point last year. And I actually got this place shown to me, and it was really nice. I just wanted to show people on my YouTube channel how to get here, that's all. So I just wanted to show the bar. Would that be okay? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you ever so much. So we've got the friendly receptionist over there, guys, and we've got this lovely bar over on this side. What a nice bar, look at that. You've got disability friendly, which is always a good thing. Got disabled toilets, you know, all toilets as well, so... You don't have to worry if you've got a disability, it's all good. They're disability friendly here, which is really good. Here's the lovely bar. Let's see what they've got. Right, so the drinks are out of order at the moment, but when they're fixed, it's a great place. They've got some great beers here. And they've got a pool table here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, they've got the pool table over here. It's kept very nice and clean here. So there we go, girls. That was, that was very nice, wasn't it, guys? Come to check this place out. Just click on the link below. If you click on the link, guys, it will bring you straight to this hotel, straight to booking.com, and you can actually make your bookings through here. So definitely check it out. What's your name, miss? Sarah. Sarah, nice to meet you. Have a good evening. Bye-bye. All right, let's see if we can fix this, guys. Let's see if we can fix out. Hey, we got it. Okay, let's go. Uh, this door, that one. That was nice. I think at first she seemed a bit like confused and then I think it's when I started talking she was okay. But obviously in, in a situation like this guys, time of the year, good evening. This time of year, you know people that work night shift they do get a bit scared working the nights because you get people that might get a bit too rowdy you know what I mean and People get too drunk, so, but yeah. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? The steakhouse here, guys, 1980. That looks amazing. I never knew about that. Oh, Natalie's dessert bar, guys. Highly recommend it. Uh, closed at the moment, but if you, if you ever see it open, guys, come and check this place out. Natalie's dessert bar. I believe they've got one of my bottles as well. And you're never far off from a McDonald's. I mean, come on, guys. Back it is. Got the waterfront hotel, private parking, I believe that's £14 for parking for 24 hours. Oh my god, that's a bit pricey, isn't it? Well, then again, you buy the beach, I don't know, 50 50. So, here's another place I've been told that the prices are actually really good in here. Now, I found a link online that shows you all of the best pubs. Hi, sir, good evening. So I found a website shows you like what some people class as cheap pubs, but not cheap, again, not cheap as in disrespectful, like, oh, that's cheap, more cheap as in affordable. So apparently, from what I've been told, the Dutton Arms is actually one of those places. I've never actually been inside, so this will be quite interesting. You guys get to come with me. Nice guy smiling in there, in the car. He's seen the camera, he's thinking, oh, well, that looks interesting. You've got disability access as well here, guys. I can hear a bit of music. Where's that music come from? Oh, you've got the music over there. That's really cool, that. Oh, this looks really nice. Please mind your hands in the door during periods of high winds. Okay. 
Oh, that is. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yep. That is windy. Whoa. <laughs> okay, guys, let's get ourselves a nice little thing. This place looks amazing. Hi, sir. May I have half a pint of the cruise campo, please? Half cruise campo. Thank you, sir. It's a really nice bar, by the way. Very nice. Thank you, sir. No problem. Well, I'm glad you like it. Thank you, sir. No problem. It's going to be 265. Lovely. Have you got our mix wrap, by chance? No, Sorry? Have you got our mix wrap, by chance? Uh, no, sir. I don't know what that is. Um, Scan the QR code, okay. download the app, get yourself registered on it. It works like a like a oh, so you get kind of like a Tesco Wow, coupon. yeah. That's a good idea that. Yep. It's gonna be two sixty five. Okay, lovely. That's a good idea, that is I like that. Okay, I'll definitely uh check it out now. What's your name, sir? My name. Not yeah. My name Nathan. Nathan, nice to meet you. To meet you. Yeah, it, not only does that app work here, it works in all of our sister pubs in our company. So, oh, wherever, you, wherever you see one of these on the yeah. bar, that's probably where it's going to work. So, what other pubs do you have around the area then? Do you have quite a few? Got quite a few, yeah. We've got uh, the Ancient Town, we've got Castle, Fairhaven, Sound. Oh, quite a few then, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, so, the lights walk about Pop World. I mean, I, I'm just doing a bit of YouTube in here today, so I know a lot of people are having to come check this place out. I thought, yeah, why not? I'm glad I did actually, it's beautiful here. It's amazing. You said that we're actually getting a refurb in January. Yeah. Bit of a sort of clean up here. Do you need a refurb? Do you think it's quite nice? It's certain little bits just need a bit of tweaking, a bit of cleaning, something. Sort of it's good though, you know, when people want to get the refurb, you know that they genuinely care about yeah. wanting to get things done properly. That's nice. How much does a San Miguel off? Half a pint? Half a pint of San Miguel is 480 for a pint, so you'll be £2.40 for a half. Brilliant. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you, sir. That was nice. He seemed like a very nice guy, didn't he, guys? Right, so we can probably take a sit down somewhere around here. Let's have a sit down uh, over here. Let's check this uh, download and get a free drink. Let's give it a try. So this is going to be pit stop one. Give me one second. Okay, got So I've gone for half uh, a cruise camper, which is actually a drink that I actually got introduced to in Coventry um, maybe a few weeks ago. Um, quite a nice drink actually. So let's good head on that. Even for a half, that's a really good start. Perfect temperature. So. Now the local uh, near my house, unfortunately, um, the the temperature isn't the best there. I'll be honest with you, and I have told them to bring the temperature up a little bit because it's not. It's meant to be a nice, cold, refreshing drink, not a warm drink. So um, that's actually a decent drink. Uh, that's really nice. Nice to meet you guys. Have a good Christmas. Bye bye. Why are you okay, mate? 
Yeah. Alright, thank you very much. Yeah, here we go. Merry Christmas. Have a good day. Bye bye. Okay guys, so because uh, there's music in the background, which was very, very loud, uh, I'm just going to do a voiceover, so I hope you don't mind. Thumbs up, yep, we're all good to go. And in the next five seconds, you should hear my voice again. So just give it a few seconds. Any second. And my voice should be coming back now. Okay guys, that was a... Uh... That wasn't too bad, that was quite nice actually, so the staff were very nice. Hello, good evening. The staff were very nice. The funny thing was one of the guys, uh, he's a customer there, he looked at me when he's seen the camera, he's thinking, whoa, I've never seen a camera like that. I'd rather than next, because it looks quite cool. But it also looks like some kind of traffic warden who have them cameras on their jackets. It's different. And he goes to me, are you videoing? And I, and I said, yes, I am. I went and tell him I'm a YouTuber, but I thought, no, nah, I just want to leave because, by the way, guys, this place here, the Cod Mother, um, yeah, it's quiet. And there's a reason for that. I once did a review here, and I, I called it one of the worst fish and chips I've ever had in Blackpool, so that was interesting. Anyway, this place here, guys, uh, Seafront 419. I highly recommend it. It's absolutely fantastic. The outside, you got your parking here. Good evening. You got your parking here. But most important of all, guys, the rooms are unbelievable. So you got the bar area here, which was having refurbishment last time I was here. And then you got the rooms on this side. And I'm not kidding, guys, the rooms are incredible. 10 out of 10, the rooms were. Everything in that room was perfect. Now, the chap who owns it or works here, his name is Ryan. Oh, Jesus. And I was wondering if Ryan's up working today. If he is, then great. Let me see if he's around. I've actually got his number, I think. I'll have to see if I can find it. Oh, it's closed, okay. Ah, well, you're probably here in the daytime, but uh, otherwise it's a nice place. I highly recommend it. They're very security cautious, but that's a very good thing. I respect that. So, yeah, I parked my car here. I had a really good stay here, guys. Uh, Seafront 419, absolutely fantastic. I stayed at one of the top rooms, and it was absolutely incredible. I believe I was on the third floor, so I had one, two, three. Yeah, I was on the top floor. And guys, I'm not kidding, the room was incredible. I would love to go on one of these. How cool do they look, eh? I might see if I can uh, find Ryan's number and give him a call, because I would love to make him a bottle. So, on the right-hand side, you've got another pub. I don't know what it's called, but it is quite nice in there, and they do, like, a bit of food in there as well, like your pies and your pasties and stuff. So that's quite nice. So yeah, the, uh, the chap that served me at um, the Dutton Arms, he came towards me earlier and I, said, I had a little chat with him and I told him that um, I'm making these bottles, I explained what I do. Um, and it was quite nice, you know, he says to me that uh, that's actually a really nice idea, it's different. And I said, well, this bottle that I'm making right now, sir, it's for you and your staff. So I think that made his night, so that's nice. If I'm able to provide a service in which somebody can smile, then for me, it's worth it. To me, I'll continue doing these things because it's good fun as well to see the reaction on people's faces. Let's go and have a look at the waves. Let's see what's going on. Let's see how windy it really is. Right. I'll be careful. Go very careful here, guys. Anybody can let me go. I don't know what the waves are going to be like. I bet the waves are going to be amazing. Oh, we can go. Wow. I can hear the sound. Oh, that was a big one then. Wow. 
Oh yeah, shopping waters guys, shopping waters today. Don't you just love Blackpool, eh? Just look at this, all the lights. I love Blackpool, Christmas by the sea, love it. Wow. Let's get closer to the action. Very nice, very beautiful indeed. They got the waves flashing. They got the waves. Oh, can't you say anything? You got the waves splashing away, and then you got the beautiful background of the Blackpool Town Road over there. And it's got green, my favourite colour. Well, one of my favourite colours, but green represents mental health. And anybody with mental health right now watching this video, I just want to say I love you, and it's okay not to be okay. Never be ashamed of who you are. Beautiful waves. We're going to walk as far as we can go. I was supposed to go to um, Micro Checkers first, but never happened. But we'll go on the way back. Definitely, we're going to go to Micro Checkers and have a nice drink there today. Right, I'm going to get the flash off the camera. Hopefully, you guys still got a nice view of uh, this walk. And if this is something, if this is the kind of content that you enjoy, then let me know by liking the video and leaving me a comment. Let me know what you think. And then if you do like it and I get enough views or uh, likes on it, then I might make this a regular thing where I can come to Blackpool once or twice every two weeks, something like that. And I'll do a bit of recording for you. I, I would love to come back to Blackpool again. I, I do love it. I love the atmosphere, the people, the lights, the life, even a bit of the positivity. I mean, believe it or not, guys, some people say there isn't, but I can assure you there is a fair amount of positivity here in Blackpool. Let's carry on walking. So, I was supposed to go to the Ardwick which I'm actually still going to, by the way. I'm actually going to put my hood on. It is getting a bit cold. Got the new Brooklyn Hotel. Wow, look at that. Look how Christmassy it looks, guys. Thumbs up. Got, you got my likes straight away. So you've got the Cod Mother, or Mother Hubbards over there. We've just gone past it. But then we've got the Cod Father. Something completely different. But there is a massive, like, amount of fish and chips restaurants here on the promenade. Full English, 6 95 Bacon, two sausages, eggs, hash brown, tomato, mushrooms, beans and toast. Not bad. Okay. hoping I still got this phone by the end of the trip and that nobody tries to rob me or something like that or no drunken people you know abuse me or something I don't know anything can happen be careful. South Beach has got some vacancies guys in case you're gonna be here come and check out South Beach what a brilliant location on the beach apartments wow so that would be a good idea because the location is absolutely golden. You step outside and you've got all of this. And all these lights and all this life, it's amazing. 
St Albans Hotel, Oakwell, the Sandford. You've got such amazing choice. And I like with Albans, they've actually put images outside so you can see. Look, they've got a nice full table, full poster bed. Nice. By the sea. I mean, come on, what more could you want, right? Fish and chips on your doorstep. Absolutely amazing. Oh, now this looks even more classy. Look at that full on bar and everything, eh? Oh, that looks awesome. The Royal Carlton, right, I'm going to put my phone in the jacket a little bit so it's not that visible. There must be something else I can buy that doesn't show the phone as much. I don't really want to be walking around with a gimbal. I wanted to do something more hands-free, you know what I mean? So I am coming up with some ideas and figuring out what works for me. I thought it would be a cool idea if I can have a jacket, uh, like a cheap jacket, I won't pay too much money for it. Maybe a jacket from Primark and then maybe put like a little hole in it so it's pointing at the lens. So I can zip up my jacket and uh, of course I like a little window really, a nice little window. I think that would be a good idea. There are some jackets that you can get that almost have like a window pocket like security people, stuff like that. Sky Oceans Hotel. Very nice. Meals start at 4.50. Wow, that's, that's useful. I like that. Useful to know. Especially if, if, if you're on a budget and you're trying to save a bit of money. I do wonder how far the Ardwick is though. Because I'm walking a little bit slower, just so you guys can get you know a bit more better content. All right, let me just unlock my phone and let's have a look. Oh, it says 11 minutes, not too bad. Doing okay with the walking then. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. Got all the beautiful lights, absolutely gorgeous. It's a little bit nippy, but good evening. Oh, that's a nice colour, guys, look at that. Is that someone looking out the window? That is awesome. Wow. Hello. Oh, that is so cool, guys. Look at the colour of that. That looks amazing. Good evening. Do you think we can possibly make it to North, guys? But, you know, next time I come to Blackpool, I'm going to make sure I've got an SD card because, unfortunately, my last SD card's gone. Uh, an SD card um, reader so that way I can do more content for you guys because at the moment you know struggling with space at the moment on the phones good evening how does the sun get from here is that laser lights someone trying to snipe with somebody guys did you see that there was just a few laser lights in that window uh, never mind Thank God I'm not staying there. All right, let's carry on. Good evening. Good evening. Funky Towers. Catch your name, I like it. But I don't like the little Lower and Hardy statues that they got there, because imagine that. In the middle of the night, you come downstairs. Before you go out and you see that, two guys sitting in a bar. Lights are turned off, but there's no one actually there. That would be quite scary to see. All dessert, 6.95, eh? 
six ninety five for the desserts. That's a bargain. Right. Bruschetta. Okay, probably an Italian place, maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know. Very nice. So the Wood House Hotel. That's really cool. I like it. Oh, I've always wanted this. Pedal party tours. Oh man, this is something I've got to get done. I'm going to plan it for my next trip, maybe. Hopefully when it's not too windy, because at the moment the wind is pretty bad. So we've passed the uh, north, uh, the south pier, and now we're heading towards the central pier. I really don't know how far I'm going to walk. I mean, I know I'm going to go to the Ardwick because they do a great point at Foster's. But I mean, sometimes I have half now because it's more of a, a money saving thing, but also I feel like now when you have a half, it almost tricks your brain into saying, but it's a fault, even when it's not. It's like a mental thing for me, you know? Because let's just say, if I've had my medication, okay? If I've had my medication and uh, I'm going to the pub, if I have a... Oh! Oh, it's windy. Anyway, if I have half, it's better for me because if I've had my medication and I feel a bit tired, if I've got a full pint and I've only had a little bit of it, then I've wasted it because then when my medication kicks into the most, when it's when my medication at its highest, then um, I get a bit drowsy and sleepy. So obviously if I'm having a full pint and I can't drink it, then I've wasted my money. So this is why I have half snow. Some places I can have a full, some places. Very rare, but it happens. Right, let's carry on. How we're walking through this wind. Oh hey, look at that. Salt of vinegar, fish and chips, eh? Oh, that looks very colourful in there. Very nice. The Windsor Hotel. Oh, the Windsor Hotel, very nice. We are getting closer to the, uh, the tower. I wonder if I can make it to Tower Fisheries. In fact, what time does Tower Fisheries close? I'm curious to find out. Let's have a look at the old sat nav and let's see what's happening. It's currently six o'clock. I'm sure Tower Fisheries will be open. Let's find out, let's ask Google. Tower Fisheries is open! Oh, they're closed at 7. What if I can go to Tower Fisheries, have some fish and chips, and then walk back and go to all the other pubs? Do you think that's a good idea, guys? Let me know. Comment below, let's see what I go for. Oh, well, then again, 23 minute walk. Ouch. Yeah, that's pushing it a little bit, guys. I mean, I'm already walking up to 15 minutes just to go down to the uh, the Ardwick and I'm, that I'm struggling with because it's so windy. Oh, this place looks nice. Have they got a... Let's take a picture of the menu. So this is the turn that I was on about guys, you take this turn and then you take another left turn and it will take you straight to the Ardwick. However next to here you've got Blackpool's finest traditional fish and chips restaurant, there's a few people in there, looks a bit lively, that's nice, 
Pool's good for business. Got the filly. That looks awesome, doesn't it? Look at a very big building. Wow, look at that, guys. Proper fish and chips. It's like a restaurant, isn't it, really? Right. Like, 